Who else out there heads to Kmart when they need to pick me up? <laughs> Seriously, when I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, Kmart is the place to go because it always makes me feel better. So let's do a little Kmart haul. I'll show you what I got. So I started off with some shoes for Kiki. <laughs> now they don't have the tags on them anymore because she's already been running around the house in them. But anyway, she absolutely loves them. She wanted to be Elsa after that, but they also dress I washed earlier this morning, so she wasn't able to be Elsa. But uh, yeah, $12. She already has the red ones. Absolutely loves them. Can't get them off her feet. I thought we needed another colour. Then I also picked her up these ones. These were $15. We call these her mermaid shoes. She's had them in two other sizes. They go with pretty much everything because she loves sparkles. So, you know, $15. So I got them. I picked up two bags, um, as in shopping bags. Like, check this one out. Easter vibes. And this one. They're so cute. They were $2.50 each and I thought, you know what, I won't have so many bags, I really didn't need them. But I did think to myself, I'm going to get them because they're really kind of Eastery and I can take things to work in them for Easter and, you know, they were pretty. On the theme of shoes, I picked up some for myself. I literally just got a pair of black flats. If you know me, then you know the only shoes I ever wear are Mox shoes. I absolutely love them. They're kind of like Crocs material, but they they look like flats, right, with holes in them. Um, and they're great. They're great for travel. They're great for everything. I absolutely adore them. These shoes were $4. I have no idea if they're going to kill my feet, but um, the other day I couldn't find one of my black mocks and that was problematic. So I thought a backup pair can never go astray. So I grabbed a $4 pair of shoes. I tried them on first. They're quite cushy. So I liked that idea. I grabbed myself a new wallet, an actual long wallet. I have a short wallet. It's a black one from Kmart as well, um, but I wanted a really long one. This one has heaps of compartments. It, it also has a strap. Now, a bit of a story about the strap. I got robbed in Turkey once when I was uh, wearing, you know, one of these type bags, and I've never bought one since. So this was a bit of a, uh, you know, should I get it moment. Um, <laughs> but I thought, yes, I'm in Australia. I should get it. Uh, if you ever want to know that story, just let me know in the comments and I will tell you the story of Turkey. But this wallet, it's got lots of areas. So lots of space for cards here and here. There's a place where I can put a picture of Kiki and Marcus. There's space for notes and notes again. Um, lots of spaces for notes down here. I even thought like I could separate my um, spending money that I have for my cash wallets within this wallet. Because sometimes I take out the plastic sleeves when I'm going out. It doesn't look the best. But there's a coin section just here as well. Like four places I can put notes and the coins plus all the cards. So I'm stoked with that. That was $10 at Kmart. Um, and I will show you how I set it out later on. Ever since my best friend was out here at April of last year, she had this, um, she, cause she lives in Switzerland. She had this like phone cord thing. Um, anyway, I kind of found one today. They're called crossbody phone straps, $6. <laughs> um, and I've kind of wanted one ever since, just because like sometimes I don't have enough hands, you know? And I, I thought, well, I'm going to give it a go. But I'm not really sure if my phone case is, is suitable or compatible. It says compatible with most phone cases. But it is black and my phone case is clear. So I'm not sure how good it's going to look. But we can always get a black phone case. I wouldn't mind that either. I'm quite happy with that. I then picked up a water bottle for Kiki. I didn't just pick up the one water bottle today. I actually got two. So I actually grabbed this bluey one in my Woolworths haul. But I forgot to show you. It was $7 at Woolies. Um, the thing is... She's not really aware of how to use a water bottle properly yet. And so the straw is like, it's not in the middle, but it's kind of close to the middle. So she picked up the straw and then she tipped the bottle. And I don't know if you can see, but the straw actually kind of sits outside of the juice. And she was really struggling trying to figure out that you've got to hold it like this and then suck up. So I bought this at the Woolies Hall. And then later I went to Kmart and I found this one. And this is kind of more like what she's used to, where you kind of, suck it but then the straw is a little bit closer to the edge so the bottle actually has to be like quite empty for her not to get anything it was three dollars fifty and i thought they're her favorite colors um i actually can't find her water bottle that she took to kindy on monday so why not i can fill it with water and send it to kindy with her tomorrow i actually liked it and thought maybe i should get myself one they're good colors i need a sip of hot chocolate sorry mm. I'm a teacher, so stationery is something that I always have, but I always invest in like liquid paper, um, the rollers. And recently I have wanted both of these. So this is the correction pen, and then this is the, you know, the old fashioned tub one. And the reason is because my aunt made a painting when she was here and she wrote some words across the front of it. And 
I love it. It's, it says like, oh, me Nina, which is like what she used to say with Kiana. And I want to put it up somewhere. But the words are painted onto like a, a dark blue uh, background and you can't really see them. So she said before she left that she'd like to go around the outside of the words in white, but we didn't, we just ran out of time. So I thought maybe I could try with a little paper pen. And if it doesn't work, I've got a thin paintbrush and I could use it inside of here. I think the bristles in this would still be too thick. I'll show you the painting. I love it. So she made this on our craft afternoon and you can see like it says, oh, me Nina. And then she's got the crown and the castle and the clouds and everything looks great. And if I show you really closely, she tried to go around the outside of it in black but um, it just doesn't stand out as much. So I'm gonna try and fix it in white. Not fix it, but she wanted to, to fix it. So I'm gonna do it for her. So I bought myself some new pajamas, which I'll show you in a sec, because they're in the other bag. But when I buy new pajamas, when the weather is changing and today it rained all day, and it's a little bit cooler than it has been recently, I also need to get myself some new slippers. That's just the, the way I roll. <laughs> and so these ones were $15. They have a little strap on the back. I ummed and ahed about whether I wanted these, particularly because they open toe, and I don't often have my feet pedicured. But I figured I could just get them pedicured, and then, like, when I say get them pedicured, sit at home and do them myself. I'm going to budget over here. <laughs> but these are the new slippers. And, you know, you might be wondering, like, oh, if you're on a budget, then why are you going and spending so much money at Kmart? Well, I received a little bit of an extra pay bonus thing in the holidays. It was some money that was back owed to me. I contacted my job and said, you know, you paid me this much. Is this correct? I don't want to be spending money that's not mine. But I think it has something to do with like the calculations around me only being part time and then holiday pay. And I don't know how they work it out. So um, it turns out the money is mine. So I got a little bit extra this week. So I paid about a thousand dollars off my credit card, which I'm very happy about. And there was like, I don't know, $350 odd dollars left over. So I spent $170 at Kmart, so half-ish, <laughs> but I'm, you know, I deserve it. I, I should be treating myself sometimes. And then the other bit, I think I'm going to save towards my rego because that's coming up in like a month. So then I wanted to get a couple of things for Kiki. I know I already got her some shoes, but I absolutely love this color green. Um, and so I grabbed her, I don't know if you can see it, but I grabbed her a long sleeve dress with butterflies. She loves butterflies. so. I got her that. I also got a short sleeve dress, which is this one here. I think it might have been like a Valentine style. It was only $8. Both of them were $8. Uh, and this only has short sleeves. So I just thought I'd get that because I like to put her in dresses. I picked up a couple of basic tees because I just love them. But the reality is I actually want to move away from tees and get some more fancy clothes. But I can't really find that kind of stuff that came up for me. So I did get a couple of t-shirts. This one here is exactly the same as this one here. I love it. So it's a size 20. Uh, it's just a black top and as it says here it's soft to touch and i just absolutely love it and then i bought it in this style as well um with just stripes so i know they're horizontal i don't care i quite like them so these are my pajamas my new pajamas check this out oh my god it is snow white <laughs> and then snow white pants oh my gosh i absolutely love it it was 29 dollars. i got it in a size 20. um the back Mirror, mirror, who asked you? <laughs> I grabbed Kiana a new coloring book because she actually fills them, like totally fills them. And then I end up throwing them away. Um, is that a bad bum thing to do? I mean, how many coloring books can a person keep? But I got her a new one. This has got like bunnies. It'll get her used to Easter and all that sort of stuff. So when the girls were here, I showed you that we picked up some denim jackets for them. I think the first one they got was in a size 26 at Big W and the second one in a size 20. And they wanted them really, really oversized. The 20 obviously wasn't so oversized, but, but they got it because we were running out of time. Um, but today I went into Kmart and they obviously have more winter gear. So sorry, girls. I ended up getting myself a denim jacket in a size 22. It's still oversized on me, but I quite liked it. I liked the way the sleeves rolled up. I liked the colouring of the, the denim. So it's a little bit, I don't know, mixed colours, dark and light. I'm not 100% sure I love the pockets, but... I do like it. I'm going to try it on and show you. So ignore the denim shorts because I'm not going to wear it with these. But yeah, it's like still quite oversized. And um, I figure I can put like a jumper under it. I can roll the sleeves down. So what do you think? 35 bucks. I haven't had an oversized denim jacket ever. I um, I did have a denim jacket. In fact, I've got one on a spare bed. It's a size 18. It's too tight. It's too short. I don't love it. I don't wear it. I thought this one was kind of cool. The only thing is when the sleeves are rolled up this much, it is quite tight here. So I couldn't like wear too much bulky underneath it but um you know i could roll the sleeves down i guess so let me know if you like it let me know what you think of the haul it was 18 items for 176.25 so i'm pretty happy with what i got 
Let me know what you think. Bye. Bye.